One of the ways in using MATLAB is as a calculator, similar to what you may use Excel. As I discussed in the first video, I can type in an expression 2 plus 2, and when I hit the Enter key, I get an answer equals 4. In the workspace, I get a variable called ANS, which is an answer. And in the command history, I get exactly what I did, which is 2 plus 2. If I want to do 3 times 2, now the variable ANS is replaced with the number 6. And again, in the command history, I have that expression 3 times 2. I can subtract. I can divide, and I can also do exponent. In exponent, you use the caret, which is shift 6. So if I wanted to do 3 squared, I would do 3 caret 2, and I would get 9. I can combine a number of these commands, and there is what's called an order of precedence. If I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, you should use parentheses. For example, if I wanted to type in 3 plus 2 divided by 5, the order of precedence would say first do the division and then do the addition. Therefore, I'm going to have 2 divided by 5, and I'm going to add that to 3 or 3.4. If I wanted to do 3 plus 2 and then divide it by 5, I should do parenthesis 3 plus 2 and then divide it by 5. And if you notice, I got an error. I did that purposely because I forgot the slash. If you get an error in MATLAB, what you'll see is that you get a red expression and it describes what the error is. I could type that over again or I could do something in MATLAB which is use the up arrow key and if I use it once you notice I bring back the expression that I typed before and what was missing there was a slash I did that wrong so I put the slash here and now if I hit enter I get the answer 1. So I can make an error, realize what the error is, and instead of typing over using the up arrow key, bring that answer back. If I want to clear everything in the command window, I could type in the command CLC. That clears everything in the command window. I still have the history, and I still have that variable. On the other hand, if I want to now again type something else, maybe 3 raised to the fifth power and hit enter, you notice that answer now becomes 243. So what I can do is I could generate with plus, minus, powers, multiplication, division, or powers, which is exponentiation, all different types of things. Imagine I wanted to do 6 plus 3 and raise that to the third power. What I would want to do is parenthesis 6 plus 3 and then raise that to the third power and I'm going to get 729. It's that simple to do mathematics in MATLAB.